Hey there, it's Mark Weiss. I've got a story for you, uh, a story that's a bit of a warning. Dr. Jonathan Rosenfield and his partner, a guy by the name of Elmer Taylor, he wasn't a, a physician, but the two of them were the co-owners and operators of a, of a group of medical clinics called Sunnyside Medical. They were located in the Houston, Texas area. Well, I call them medical clinics, but uh, in this case, medical clinic is, um, is a loose term. Uh, the two were sentenced in November 2023 to 10 years for uh, Rosenfield and uh, 12 years for Mr. Taylor following their, their guilty plea in connection with a conspiracy to unlawfully distribute and dispense controlled substances. It appears as if that business was pretty profitable. The, the two of them uh, apparently made more than five million bucks. They were prescribing under Dr. Rosenfield's name uh, controlled substances, mostly opioids, to patients, uh, many of whom were recruited by drug dealers to be, you know, phony patients to get a prescription, and then they would collect the, collect the drugs. You now, per the U.S. Department of Justice, over the period from May, I believe it's May 2018, to August 2019, uh, they collected uh, 5.7, so almost $6 million in, uh, in profits from prescription drugs. You know, previously, two pharmacists pled out in connection uh, with charges in a, charges related to this same, same scheme. Um, I don't think I need to warn you not to, not to hatch a scheme like these guys did at, at Sunnyside. But, you know, I do have to warn you not to get hooked into a scheme like this that gets cooked up by someone else, you know, something that someone else initially hatches. I've seen far too many physicians get caught up in these things where someone else claims that the, the program they've come up with is completely legal. It's been, quote, vetted by their lawyers, their legal team, even vetted by a large law firm, in quotes, only to find out that they're all headed to, to jail, that they've engaged in what's not a wonderful business plan, but a large criminal conspiracy. So be careful out there. Don't believe what everyone tells you. If something doesn't smell right, follow your nose. It's a pretty good warning sign. You know, it's not just that someone else will tell you a deal is legal when it's not, but the chances are great that they're later going to flip on you. They might not go to jail at all. They might just get, you know, probation. Well, you're the one doing the real time walking around the prison yard while they're walking free. Take care.